All right. Um, avoid right main tower. I wonder why. Let's go take a look at what's going on here. Um, it doesn't look too bad, and I might have to attack it because there's nowhere else to attack. So, um, yeah, I have to think about that one. Um, yeah, so here we are um, against uh, some guild I don't know the name of. Uh, looks like we didn't do too well. We got stomped out uh, by two twice at the same time, so it's fine. Um, what else? Yeah, I mean, not a whole lot else. Um, see, everyone here has been destroyed already except for this guy, so I'm, I might hit that guy. Um, might hit that guy there. Money tickets, so there's still uh, two other people after me. Yeah, so like I said, there's only one, two, three. Four towers left. It's like literally four. So this one looks kind of interesting. I'm I'm thinking uh, just run like G Perg, and then maybe let's go see what I can do up here. Um, like run G Perg here. Uh, AOE. Uh, and then run this. Ooh, yeah, it's not so easy. Um, right, because he's going to kill him. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have anybody... Who can survive all of this? It doesn't look like. Um, if I had, if my ML Crow was up, maybe. Those of you um, who saw the summoning video, here he is. He's right here. He's still. I'm still working on him. But like I said, I probably won't have him ready till next, uh, till Monday. We'll hit this one later. This one, if I attack this one, it'll be sort of as an indulgence, like you know, just uh, just because I want to, just to test my limits, I guess. Okay, so um, we'll put you down there. You here. Hmm. Can Arbiter survive most of what's going on here? I think so, maybe, right? Where is water? This is. Let's bring you here. Um, yeah, let's see how that goes. Uh, down here. Just going with the uh, old reliable down here, I think. I'm just going to go with this. Uh, you and uh, you. Okay, yeah, let's just do that. See what happens. Okay, so this is obviously kind of to be expected. He's gonna take some serious damage here. Okay, so that was fine. It wasn't too bad. Okay. Fortunately, um,
Mm, let's just use this on you. Um, because, I mean, he's gonna hit him, so it's fine, right? But he's gonna do this, so. Yeah, so, there we go. We got lucky here. Ooh, there you go. So it's a good thing that he had the immunity. Okay, so we need to go again. Very nice. So hopefully we don't... Oh, because he, he's about to go. So hopefully I don't, like, hit... Oh, I did hit him. Uh, so this might kill depending on who he hits. So if she dies. Okay, cool. Uh, and the uh, Basar is dead, so we're good, basically. Uh, theoretically, anyway. <laughs> anyway um, let's do this. Yeah. Um, funnily enough, he actually hit the right person there because if he hit her, if he had hit him. We'd be in some trouble because I don't think he survived like that many of those. Okay, like ideally, what I wanted was to kind of have him hit uh, Arbiter, right? Because then um, he would die, and then I would just attack him, and it'd be fine. And uh, here we are. So we're just healing slowly here. Just fine. Oh my gosh! So this is this is more lucky in terms of like I've just been getting a bunch of greater attack procs. Okay, so let's see you. Hopefully, I kill him. I did not. Let's see who we always oh, gonna hit Arbiter. It's just good, right? Because now I get test three. Soul burn this. Um, and now he's going to die. Uh, just, I, I kind of like taking. I've been like I've been enjoying taking Arbiter into. Him, because a lot of times you can just kind of do enough damage to just like out outpace his uh, dodge ability. So it's kind of cool. And then sometimes you know, obviously if you retaliate, it's okay because you know he has an extra life. If you bring a couple other people who are tanky, then um, you know basically you're solid. Okay, I didn't get the counter, so that's good. Okay, so doing good so far. I think he's gonna hit. Oh, I actually hit her for some reason. That is actually the one person I didn't want it to hit, but that's fine. And I keep. <laughs> Everybody keeps targeting SSB for some reason, so I'm starting to get a little annoyed here. Okay, so SSB should finally uh, be able to uh, be above what's his name? Uh, be above. Um, oh, there we go. Perfect. Should finally be above Crow. So now that Crow's the lowest, um, I shouldn't worry too much, considering they're all gonna focus him. Okay, so she hit Crow, yep. Okay, and then I get to... Oh, and this is bad. Ooh, is he dead? He's not dead. Wow, that's insane. And I, I, I win uh, <laughs> off of the sheer uh, luck there. That was actually pretty bad. Oh man, that was disgusting. I shouldn't have won there, but I did, so. It is what it is. Okay. Let's move on. So everything here is cleared out. Um, that's cool. Let's uh, give someone the uh, alley up here and, and hit this tower. Okay, so this one's a good example to bring this one again into this 
Um, should I bring him though? Um, this one's actually a little harder to, to, to justify bringing him, right? Because um, here, he, if he doesn't help, like, try to kill him, he's just going to die right away. Um, yeah, hmm. What if I do, oh I know, let's try, where's Oxlots? Okay yeah, let's try that with Ox, uh, Oxlots with, um, where is she? With Euphine. Um, that looks perfect, okay. So down here we're going with SSB. Yeah, we're just going to go with this again, just because there's no really a reason not to. Okay, so... Come on, you fiend. Let's see if I kill him. Uh-oh, this is bad. Oh, no, never mind. <laughs> it's not. Okay. Oh, I actually just realized I forgot to bring healing, so, um... g perk might die here, and, uh, this whole team might just, like, fall apart on me here. Of course, it's kind of not good. Okay, so we're just gonna wail on her until, uh... That's interesting, he didn't dodge, which means he got... That's twice he's, he's not dodged already, so basically we won, um, again, off of luck. Uh, which is pretty crazy, because he didn't dodge the first time, and he didn't dodge the, uh, the S2. Yeah, that's insane. I can't believe how lucky we got there. But he, he didn't get stunned by G Purge's S1, S3, so that was kind of interesting. <laughs> I mean, you know, as long as, listen, as long as I'm getting lucky, you may as well just give me all the luck, right? <laughs> um, but yeah, so let's just kill her and get this over with. So, of course, Yufin sniping people is uh, always great to see. Ooh, could you imagine if I didn't get that crit that time? That would have sucked. Okay. Let's see you with the S1. I actually need more more molas on her S1. Would have been lazy. Uh, I don't know what's going on here. I don't know why the speed tuning is so strange. Um, she probably she should have more effect resistance, but yeah, that whole speed tuning was very odd, or is very odd. Let's uh, let's do this. So we're gonna get the unbuffable, but that's okay because um, I already have my buffs up and I'll cleanse one of them when I put up the shield, so see how that goes. Okay, so she landed both and of course Kron attacks you. He's gonna crit water? No. Okay. That's all you can really ask for is that he won't uh, crit you on water. It's kind of a sad affair that like As a water unit, you're like afraid of a fire unit at all. It's like, gosh damn, dude, seriously. She still doesn't have a Japanese voice actor? I don't know what's up with that. Okay. I think we clear the... I don't know what the fuck we cleared. Um, let's just hit you, I guess. Okay, of course, with the S3 again. Please don't crit. Okay, and you missed. Good. And you'll just die. Yep, 
dead. Okay, cool. Okay, we're all hitting uh, SSB now, I guess. That's a thing we're doing. Should I hit you with this? Okay, so she is unhealable, so that was a good thing there. Uh, and then I get to do the ES2. Um, we'll just S3 you and uh, transfer that damage onto what's her name, and then they'll both die. Perfect. Well, I don't know if they'll both die. Presumably they will. Yeah, they did. Okay. So the old uh, two for onesie there. Um, perfect. Uh, let's see. So here I can't attack anything else. Hopefully somebody can take that. Uh, so here, I guess the other thing is to just go here. Okay. I think with that I would have a, a white line. Um, I like this. I do feel like we need a little bit more healing though, so I think I'm just gonna go with uh, what's her name? Where's Momo? There she is. Um, yeah, I've been like, yeah, I, I tried to mention this in the other one, but I was like, kind of too, uh, what's the word? Just like distracted or well, not necessarily distracted, just kind of like too scatterbrained to really get to it because it's you know in the middle of stuff. Um, but I really like Mom Rancy's ability to control the healing so if i have if i want the s3 i can give it to one of them for the major heal uh i can give someone who has less who has more hp the immunity and the heal and then someone else can get the heal from the rod of amaryllis or i can use the s2 to heal uh, or i could just choose not to heal at all so yeah i think i might have just actually just said that then but you know important to consider um this bottom team i want them both to focus him Do I have any more healers? Is that, I think I'm out of healers. Um, I've been thinking of bringing back, so bringing back either, um, so five starring either, like I said, trying, what's her name, the, the girl. Let's see, I don't know who to choose here. Trying out either making regular uh, what's her name? Regular Achates as a healer, or bringing back uh, Destina because I have Destina as well. Um, I feel like Destina is the way to go, but the fact that like Achates can just keep putting up, uh, just keep cleansing over and over again, uh, a lot faster, is a lot more appealing to me because like I want to pair her with someone like like an F like a regular CC or. Um, ML Crow. Oh, uh oh, that's bad. Uh, that's irritating. Uh, or an ML Crow because um, he gives up immunity, right? So I can have her go cleanse and then have him give everybody immunity and then um, just kind of repeat that cycle of like her cleansing and then the immunity off of him. But I don't know. Mm, so he's going to kill him. So I can't do that. Okay, so she, he is gonna hit her. Yeah, okay, I'm liking this better. Um, where is you? There you are. Okay, this looks like um, this looks stupid enough to work. I think. Let's try that. You could try a little harder. I win again. Okay, so not bad, but uh, of course, um, his real damage comes from like uh, ramping up and all that kind of stuff. So it's important to consider. Uh, imagine thinking. Uh, <laughs> Imagine thinking, 
Uh, ML Crowl counters uh, SSB there. Um, I think I'm going to heal Crowl with this mainly. So uh, here we go again. We're going to have to. We're rolling the dice here on. Yeah, Crowl. Rolling the dice here on whether or not uh, he crits. Because if he crits, I think he might. Well, I don't, know, I don't know if he'll die, but yeah. Okay, so he missed. That's cool. But it, it's always a thing that uh, is, is annoying to have to consider. You can just die because he crits water and still like through kills you through advantage. Okay, so we're all attacking her, which is fine. Okay, so basically I'm trying to avoid killing the RB here right now. Let's see if we get the... Uh... Okay, cool. Okay, yeah, I, I wanted that to go on to Crow. Um, because she, I knew she was gonna get hit. Oh, she might die now. Oh yeah, she's dead. Of course. Uh, why wouldn't she be dead? Uh, that is one in one of a few times already that um, Momo has died to a uh, Kron. Um, and needless to say, it's 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 irritating no matter when it happens. Um, okay. Uh, so we're gonna die here. Uh, I think that's kind of obvious because now Kron's gonna do whatever Kron wants to do, um, sort of unhindered, and we're not gonna survive because he crits on water again. Uh, and then yeah, okay. Um, so that was <sighs> we just lost that one hard and G. I think hopefully all of you can. Um, agree with that <laughs> agree with me on that um, yeah it seems a bit clear-cut to me but um, you know like I said, it's up to you guys whether you want to how you want to take that uh, and me I'm just gonna chalk that up to RNG because uh, I'm just not having it today okay so let's just hit you come on RB there we go Excellent. Let's hit him with this. Fortunately, didn't kill anybody, so that's kind of irritating. Uh, thank you, I guess, for that. And thank you for that. Wow, that is some serious effectiveness. Um, yeah, that's a lot of effectiveness since I have. Uh, let's see, I'll have to cleanse that. I have like 80 something effect resistance on my. Uh, G perg there. Oh, and I got the crit, so that's nice. Oh, this is even nicer. Okay, so I'm gonna burn this on you. Okay. Let's hit you. Come on, RB, come on. Oh, well, I still killed you. Oh, no, he's not dead. Oops. Oh, well, he killed RB, so that's fine. He's dead now. Unless it's like a lifesteal. Was it lifesteal? I don't remember if it was lifesteal. It is lifesteal. Well, there's still a chance he won't die here. Uh, let's just try to arbiter this. Okay, very cool. So I actually got the hit. I think I might have died with, even if I missed. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, that one about as good as uh, I guess you could have expected it to. Um, yeah, so, you know, take that. Uh, Take my only loss uh, as you want to take it, right? Um, the, I mean, I guess it's like it, it's partially, uh, partially. I'm gonna take that as like, okay, I I will take that because my a Momo is lacking in gear a little bit, so I need to go figure out um, what I can do to get her better gear and and uh, do that. So for anyone who wants to see what my a Momo looks like. Uh, 1659 defense, 19k HP, uh, and everything else is really kind of irrelevant. Um, I have around 100, well, except for this, I have around 150% effect resistance. Not, I mean, 200 is kind of where you want to be at these days if you want to like resist a lot of stuff. Um, but there's not a whole lot, a lot of stuff to resist. Uh, I guess we could look at some of this gear. I rolled 30% on this, 19% effect resistance, and then. Um, 
decently mid-roll health there. Um, 36% health on this, so that's cool. Unfortunately, the speed is was like it, this is bad. This is horrible speed. Um, but yeah, you know it's kind of hard to give up on a on a resistance set. The, the the health and the health and you know everything. So there's that. Uh, this sword can be easily replaced, I think, at some point. Um, too much attack, not enough speed, decent effect resistance and health, but yeah, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this sword might actually end up going on my Crow, depending on my ML Crow, depending, because he can always use it more effect resistance. Um, this might end up going on my ML Crow as well. Uh, if not, like an immunity neck, the immunity necklace that Lilius has. Um, 65 so you, I, I, again like I said I could boost this maybe get 5% more maybe boost this up to like 90 something and I might have survived that if I had 90 this gear so like 10% defense so 2% more defense uh, one more speed would finally get me out of this uh, 190 speed uh, 189 speed it, it kind of irritates me this 189 I don't know why it's just numerically it's annoying uh, we got the flat defense here, which is cool, but this could have been flat health or just like anything else, or effect resistance even would have been nice. Um, but yeah, I might boost this. This, might, this is good on Crow because Crow wants ML Crow because Crow wants health, defense, speed, um, effect resistance, and he's okay with attack. Like attack is not wasted on Crow because his S threes, his S three can always use it. Um, this is here because obviously I got 22% here uh, and then 11 speed so that's mainly it. These two in the middle are kind of worthless. Um, unfortunately, while I was thinking about building Crow, I was sitting there going through all my gear and I realized that like rings, because the rings you get from the Abyss tend to be kind of decent a lot of the times. Um, I got a lot of really bad like regular rings. I, I have too many, I'm relying too many on these, these, uh, these rings and you really don't want to be doing that. So I guess as a, as a tip for all of you out there. Like, take these, I, I mean, you know, just take these rings, just try not to, like, rely too much on these rings, right? Like, yeah. Like, it, it's annoying. Um, this boot could also be better, right? Effectiveness, 16% effectiveness. This is one of, like, the first things I boosted at the time, because it was just on her, and I needed her to... to survive, because she was doing, she was my wyvern... I used her for Wyvern because originally she had an effect resistance ring and I, I she also had like 200 and something effect resistance uh, but I needed her to tank Wyvern as the solo healer um, but now I don't anymore so that's fine um, but I, I still left this ring on because now it's even more important to have it now because like as as she is now she's constantly dying anyway so it's kind of necessary um so yeah i guess that was it i mean if anybody wants to know what like a one shotable a decent one shotting um Yufine looks like this is her um uh, 46 50 or 46 60 um this thing isn't maxed yet unfortunately i need to get it maxed but like the, the reason i haven't is because as you can see she does her job um Fairly well without it max, so I mean it's not like a big rush. But yeah, you really do want to max the, um, your at least one or two of your portraits out. Uh, like Lilibet has my other portrait and it's not maxed out either. Um, but again, like they both do their job, so it makes me lazy to actually like get in there. But I was wondering, I've been wondering, like I've been hoping that maybe um, she might be able to one shot like some decently tanky SSBs, so I don't have to worry about them getting revived because she has the extinction. But uh, I've been kind of scared to like take that in there because, yeah, I don't know. Just even Euphine sometimes it's like, oof, she might not actually get that kill, but she's never missed a kill, so you know. I feel like because the Libet is like Euphine, but like a slightly weaker, um, and basically she's just here to take out arbiters. It's fun to snipe them with her sometimes, and she has less molas, of course. Uh, Max Mola should be a uh, pretty decent threat. <laughs> I keep pulling Lilibet, so of course, uh, here's the imprints. I got two more, and I have like one in the box somewhere, but I'm saving that one for uh, whenever ML Lilibet comes out. Um, but yeah, so this is like my one shot Yufin. Uh, missing skill ups here, so she's missing 10% chance to defense break and then 15% uh, damage. That's, that's actually quite a lot, considering I also have this, which is multiplying my. Um, S1 damage, so I, I should really get on this, but uh, let's go see what we're, 
what we're working with here. Especially with ML Crowl, I have to invest molas into him. Like I already gave him a bunch of molas, which I'm kind of low. This is like eight. To do something right, that's kind of the thing you have to consider yourself. It's like, do you really want to put that in there? While that is a huge leap in damage, I mean, again, you're using Euphine as an S3 bot, right? Like you're just here to like kill something real quick. Um, and those molas aren't really going to help me do what I need her for, right? She's already done basically. Um, so yeah, something to consider is, is molas are very valuable, so be careful what you spend them on is all I'm going to say there. Um, now here's my uh, S3 here, fully maxed of course, that's, that's kind of a, a mandatory thing. Um, I have another Euphine in my box, she's like down there unleveled. I feel like I'm just going to feed her into her just to get this extra 6%. If I had max imprints, I feel like maybe I could reach something like 5,000 attack with this 270, um, with this 270 um, crit damage, but that's kind of iffy. Um, it's not, and that's like I said again. All, a lot of the stuff is like really overkill because she kills things anyway. Um, for one of my videos, I forgot what video it was. I think it might have been the last one. Is like I've been thinking about trying to run her as a little more tanky, like a bruiser setup. Um, Dropping her attack a little bit and just trying to like spread that out and like her defense and her and her and her health Um, but yeah What else did I use in this video? I guess if anyone wants to see my RB, he's not that special. He's just kind of Some of this gear is kind of uh, needs to be updated like she, he like he has this sword, right? Like he doesn't need the HP um, The speed and the crit chance are what he wants and you know, this could be like a crit damage or something But that's like the exceptionally rare right crit speed crit crit speed and attack, right? Uh, my Alexis isn't really maxed either But you're only getting 10% off the like off of five limit breaks. So five more of these Alexis baskets You're only getting 10% so it's like ah Um I like this piece. Uh, I didn't roll as concentrated as you might want it to, but I, I just like the distribution. It's fine. Um, this health is like, eh, it's whatever. It's, it's here. It's helpful. Um, this piece here was like, ugh, this is this is the piece you want, right? Crit, crit damage, um, speed, and attack. There you go. Perfect. Um, and I got pretty good rolls into crit damage, which is great. Uh, this one rolled pretty crap and the rest of the stuff like this doesn't have speed is one of the main problems here uh, Doesn't have speed and this crit chance and this uh, health could have been something else or it could have rolled more into the uh, Could have like a flat attack or something like that, right? Um, and then this these boots were the arena boots and 65% with seven speed and I got like a bunch of crit damage rolls. So that's great uh, But yeah, so this is my RB um, His s2 is not Maxed. I, I this is, I gave him a slate because I didn't want to. I didn't have an extra copy, and the six percent is nice. You just get like an extra free six percent there. Um, but yeah, ideally you want him to be a lot faster. Mine's kind of lacking on the speed as well as the crit chance. But like I said, I'm working on boosting it. I got to replace this. Uh, I got to replace uh, this here and um, eventually this as well. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Uh, I don't remember who else I showed off here. Um, I guess my, uh, Crow and, like, I've shown off my SSB a lot, so that's fine. Crow always 200, 202 uh, speed. Uh, yeah, if anyone wants to see my G perg, who, for those of you who might not believe me, look at this bastard. He's got... He's got 88% effect resistance and he's still got, uh, he still got hit that one time. So kind of, you know, kind of annoying. But yeah, so I just gave him this, uh, health gear set. Cause like with G perk, he just needs to be tanky. Like you don't need speed on him. Cause whether he takes turns or not, it's not, you know, it's not relevant. Um, you just need health defense and speed. And now that we're getting, um, he's getting health scaling on all his attacks. Like he hits for a thousand right now on like an S1. Uh, with health scaling, he might hit for like two thousand, especially because like you stack a lot of health on him, right? Uh, you don't put a lot of crit chance, so that's not really that big a deal. But you can if you wanted to. Um, as you see, he's only friendship level nine, so I'm working on getting him to level ten so that um, 
I can get those uh, whatever free whatevers to like dump in here. So his free like friendship molas. I'm probably just gonna feed two of them into here to get this to 100% because it's really needed. Um, and then one here, and then I'll have to probably burn two molas to get this last. Uh, well, not this last, but this next two 10%. So it's a 60%. Oh, he has an 85% chance to taunt. That's actually not that bad. Um, I like that. So, yeah, 50 plus this is 60 plus this is 85. Yeah, 85% chance to taunt with a double stun. Like, I've been using G-Perg in literally everything these days. Like, anything, like, even arena even arena teams, they just, like, just put G-Perg in there and see, uh, see what happens. Uh, he just gives you so many free turns. And, of course, you have this for the extra turns. Um, I got some pieces that rolled pretty decent here, so health, the speed is kind of whatever, uh, but I like the health and, uh, the effects resistance is nice, and then all my, all my, all my, um, all these health set pieces they gave us actually rolled pretty well, so a lot of effects resistance, no, no speed on this, which is good, and crit chance is decent, uh, defense, uh, some speed here, but the, the better one is on Ruel, so that's what that is, um, this one, this one's actually kind of crap. Looking at these rolls right now, it's it's pretty bad. Um, might have to replace this at some point. I mean, I'm going to. It's always what you want here with these pieces. But there you go, like uh, effects resistance, uh, low health, unfortunately, no speed. But like, look at this piece. Plenty of defense, plenty of health, and you know, effects resistance. So that's cool. Um, I boosted this not because of how good it is. Cause it's obviously kind of just mediocre. Uh, but because I don't have a whole lot of like golem gear to boost anyway, so I was like, ah, well, just give him a boosted, um, a boosted uh, chest plate there. That's not too bad. Uh, still working on getting this to be maxed out. Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, basically, the main units I use that uh, whatever won me there won me there. Um, but yeah, so <laughs> I really want to use holiday Yuffie, but that forty percent effect resistance is killing me. Um, but yeah, so yeah, good luck on your Guild Wars out there and, and, and whatnot. Try not to get stomped on.